We here we are with Ask Who, that's myself, Sue Davis, and we've also got clairvoyant Greg Smith back on the show. Hi, Greg. Hello, Sue. Hi. Right, we were going on from um, obviously with the children and the classes. Um, we know I know that I've been speaking to you quite a bit, and we've got quite a few bits and pieces in the pipeline. Of course, the one where me and you've organised the one in September, for some for September in Ellesmere, in the yeah. lovely county of Shropshire. <laughs> Looking forward to it. I actually, um, last night I went to, to Circle and one of the, um, the, la the ladies that I, I went with, she said, so I can see you going somewhere. And she, I said, OK, yeah, it's probably, I, I can understand that. She goes, but I can see um, ice cubes. Where are you going? I said, that's probably Shropshire. It's probably going to be cold up there. And she was like, yeah, that's going to be in September. She said, that's it, that's it. How, how the seasons are changing, I wouldn't be surprised at all. We're having a summer now, aren't we? Yeah, that's it. We'll be start snowing next week. Oh, no, shush now. No, no. <laughs> that can't be allowed. No way. Um, right. Now, I've um, spoken to you before. Um, we've got, you've got a healing weekend in Somerset coming up. Yes, um, that's in July. The first uh, weekend in, in July, the 5th, 6th and 7th, I think that is. Um, it's down in Somerset. Um, a local. <laughs> it's quite funny because uh, when I, w I was trying to organise it and go get down there, um, it's near to what, Breen Sands, uh, where as a young person uh, we had so many family holidays down there. So it'd be, be like going back down there for <laughs> the, the, the thing from when I was younger. It'd be good. Um, and it'd be, but it, the, the weekend would be absolutely brilliant. Apparently, about 2,500 people go down there, um, and I've got a stall uh, where I'll be able to do readings. Um, but it's, it's uh, up to like 50, 50 different tents, I think. I'm in the going to be in the main marquee um, for all different areas of therapy and, and spiritual, uh, spiritual things. Um, and also that I've been asked, been asked to go on stage on the Saturday evening, um, which the audience should be about four or 500 people, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm really looking forward to that. Excellent. So where is the um, next event that you've got that obviously people can come and see you at? Um, I've got one next next week, next Thursday, uh, the 5th of April. Um, it's something a little bit different. Myself and um, Sarah Mack, she's a, a vocalist, she's a singer, and we're doing something called uh, From the Other Side, where she's, uh, we, she, she's going to be doing um, some songs, different spiritual songs. We're thinking that she can sing like, the Ghostbusters theme tune or the theme tune from the film Ghost. Um, and just having a bit of fun with it, and then once she, she'll sing two songs, and I'll be doing um, a couple of readings, and so on and so forth throughout the evening. And just for the people that may not get a reading, that they'll be able to enjoy the songs um, and just just really enjoy themselves. And then the other people that um, that I can pick out and get some, get some readings for, they can they'll be enjoying the uh, the readings as well. Um, but it's something for everybody, something that's um, yeah, that's that's really really good, really good fun. Um, <laughs> Do you think it's nice for people to have something different? Um, you know, obviously, you know, we have all of the psychic readings, but, you know, when I saw what you were doing, I was thinking, it's nice to have something different. Yeah, we were, um, we were all, both of us have just been asked to say, can you do something different? Can you put something together? Because I met Sarah through um, a show that I did, um, with a local show, and she said, for some reason, she's quite spiritual herself, she's a paranormal investigator as well, and she, she said, for some reason, I've got to give you my card. And for some reason, I gave an email so that I have a little thing that I want to do. And I just want to see the help. I don't know, but I don't know. And so we did both together with that. And we came up with one different idea. And it's a lot different. Right. Have you got your laptop near you? Have I got my laptop near you? I haven't, yeah. no. It's OK. I can just hear as if you've got it in, in the background. No, I haven't got anything near me. <laughs> OK, that must be something else. That's obviously <laughs> spirits playing games with you now. <laughs> yep, that's about right. That would be something that they would probably do to me. <laughs> me too. Actually, when I did um, Circle last night, um, the, we had a rocking chair in the in the room. And the rocking chair just started moving on its own, just started to, um, um, yeah, just started to move backwards and forwards. And it was absolutely amazing just to see it from a chair that was just completely stood still to it to start rocking on its own. Um, 
and it was actually one of it was my great uncle who was um, a very big gentleman. He's probably about six foot four, six foot five, and he was an ex. Um, he was an old uh, bare knuckle fighter, and his hands were about the size of like two of mine. They were huge, and he was he was him that was sat there um, in the in the um, in the chair. And he was just saying, right, that's it, I'm here with you, and just started talking about random things to me. Um, <laughs> which, spirit to do that, I can, I've walked past um, a lamppost, um, with the, the, the light was on, and all the rest of the lights were absolutely fine, and the, and the light would go out on its own. And I walked past it, and the light would come back on. So like, that's a bit weird. So I turned back, go back again, and the light would turn off again. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is a bit different. <laughs> I don't think there was anything particularly wrong with the floor or I wasn't touching the lamppost or, or anything. Um, okay. it's, yeah, things happen when I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got Venera on the line uh, to ask some questions. Um, hello, Venera. Hello? No, Greg, the spirits have definitely come through with her, I think. <laughs> we've messed, messed it all up, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> definitely. We'll just see. Venera, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Venera. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. For taking Have you got a question for Greg? Um, just about the work in general. I was wondering if there might be any changes coming up or anything like that. Okay, um, over to you, Greg. Okay. Um, my, initial things, my initial thinking was... Um, for yourself at the moment, I feel that is there some is there some nervous feeling around um, stepping forward, progressing forward in your life? Yes, there is. I'm actually waiting some response, but uh, at the same time, I kind of feel like um, uh, yeah, there's definitely that. Okay, Cause in, in my mind, as if I've got two opportunities that's coming forward, um, but is this, does this one of the ones that I'm this, for some reason I keep on getting a book. Um, yeah, in my head. Professor, and professor position. Adam. Professor position. Professor, okay. Is, is this? Is there a sensation of can I do this? Can I do it? Can I not? Am I? Is this? I don't, I don't know. I got this feeling that because I've got a. Um, I just want to say that just go for it. As if the, that you've got your comfort. You're trying to keep yourself in a comfort zone situation. As if that I want to say, go for it. Stop holding yourself back. Okay. Would that make sense to you? Yeah, um, one of the positions actually it's like that because I fear it. It's uh, I fear it's a little higher than the other one. And but whichever comes to me, I will be happy to do it. I just don't know which one will come to me. So. Okay. Um, with the second one, would you understand a, like a bit more travel, a bit more movement? Uh huh. Bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, but is this that you kind of like stepping away from that one because of the travel, because of you're not sure this one would be a bit closer, a bit. But is this that is the two huge the different one. differences that yeah. that you wouldn't usually go to? I thought this was just the one that I wanted, okay. the one with more travel. But uh, okay. I I haven't heard a yay or nay from any of them. Okay. I'm not going to get start predicting stuff on the radio or on on here, yeah. <laughs> um, but I would say in a in a very short space of time, and my my guy keeps on saying to me in a couple of days, in a few days, um, that you might start to understand more clearly where you which way you're going, um, if that makes sense to you, um, which because I feel that it's going to be very soon um, that you might find out which way that you're going, but. I feel that it's just it's stepping out of your comfort zone. You, you said it to me about three or four times um, for you to do that, um, and I think that will that that will mean a lot. When it happens, that will mean a lot to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does that answer your questions then? Yes, it does. Thank you very very much. Thank That's you very okay. much for coming on to the show. Okay. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, I'm just going to do a quick little mention. There's a few people on our chat, so I want to just know, let them know that we are actually spotting that they're there. We've got um, Saggy. We've got my partner, Bill Ray, obviously listening. Uh, we've got a few guests. We've got Louise Lou, Mary Lou Who, Psychic Max, 
and Venus and my chat doesn't want to go down any further so we'll just leave that for now <laughs> Louise Lou says what do my gu my guides need to know me to know I'm not quite okay. sure if he can pick that up from a chat that he's not actually looking at no <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry Louise Lou but no I, if, if you can ring into the show Louise I'm sure it might actually help you out the, is the that okay is, I will <laughs> say though um, that my guy's saying to me that she, she may need to, to meditate more to be able to, as if that they're trying to get in, but then she's not quite allowing them to, to, to come in. Um, okay. So getting herself in, like I was saying about, imagine that protective bubble, um, is to imagine um, being in that to feel more comfortable in doing it. Because I think there's this, I've got a sensation that she's not, not quite comfortable allowing them to come in yet, and that's why they're not, she's not hearing or seeing or, or whatever it is clearly. Um, and maybe to do, to do that, that might help. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, we've also got Linda um, on the show now. Linda, are you there? I'm here. Hello. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Hi, Hi um, Linda. Hi. Um, well, I'm kind of in limbo right now. I don't, I don't even know what to ask you, really. I'm just um, wondering if you can pick up anything from my voice and perhaps some guides have some messages for me yeah um because my guy said that you the words were very spiritual that's what i heard him say um as if that you you do see things that you'll see things quite clearly um as if um you need to do more with it if that if that makes sense that you that you're doing you're doing a lot with it a lot with with spirit you're working well with them um mm -hmm. but just just go with it. You're doing brilliantly. Just keep going with it. I, I don't want. As if the, he, my guys just literally just stepped back and said, "Just say that, and that's it." He's okay. Not give, give, but that's as if they say that you're you're doing it. You're doing well with it. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, actually, um, yeah, actually, it does. It does make sense. Um, so that kind of answers a lot of questions that I didn't ask. <laughs> okay. It, also, I've got a sensation. With crystals, what's with the crystals? Um, I don't know. I'm on, I'm on and off uh, uh, with them. I do carry them around sometimes. Um, not sure what my belief system is about those things, but um, are, do, do they want to tell me that I should connect with them more often? Yes, basically. Okay. Um, for some reason, because I, I, I have them at the moment uh, in, in my in my um, in my room that I use for readings and. They keep on drawing my attention to the stones that I have for um, the, the the chakra points on my body, mm -hmm. and as if that to use them for that, as if to get the, the, all the different the, the the different stones, the different crystals to align yourself, as if that, that will help your psychic clarity, um, just to open your the third eye, just that little bit more. Okay. 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 Um, um. Good. And what's with the, the tarot cards as well? Have you, have you tried those? Yeah, I use those? them. You do? Yes, I do. I, I use astrology. I'm an astrologer, and I do use tarot cards to read, and I just, sometimes I just channel. Yeah, okay. Because do you do, use the tarot cards? Because my guy said to me, he said, it's fact like family, but as if that you use it for, for family more than for others. That's right. Yeah? Um, That's right, yes. I don't use it for others. Okay. I, f I think after, if people hear you on the, on the radio now, people will be asking you for <laughs> giving <laughs> for you to give it a go <laughs> for other people. Um, yes. But I feel that there'll be some people asking now that to say, like, give me a reading, give me something. Because I feel that the information that you give is spot on. It, it is good. Um, it's just, okay. Yeah, just go with it. Thank you very much. No D problem. Does that, does that sound right to you? Uh, yes, everything he said is pretty spot on. So <laughs> he's very good, isn't he? Do you feel that um, you are in your safety zone when you're at home, giving it, giving the readings to your friends? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I pretty much feel that I. <clears throat> yeah, um, I, I'm some. You know, with when with strangers, um, it's a little bit. I mean, I say what I feel. If I don't stutter and something comes out very clearly, I know it's the truth. Um, yeah. But with my family, I am very 
um, very certain about what I'm telling them. Okay. In my head then, um, my guide just gave me the word trust. It's through your channeling, that's how you'll get your the, the clear uh, clear messages. That's how the, the spirit are talking to you and giving you, which is, is absolutely brilliant to work with spirit in that way. Um, it's just keep on doing it and your trust and confidence will build in them um, and build in yourself as well. And to know that what you're giving is right because spirit won't, you, won't, won't waste that energy to give you something that isn't right. Um, sometimes we may get the interpretation of something not quite right. Um, but what I was always taught is to just to say what you see. And then if you say what, exactly what you see, then that's what they're trying to tell you. That's what they're trying to get across. So if you can use that um, that information to, to help things, that, that, that could help you for the, for the future. All right. Well, that's very that's very nice. wonderful to hear. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you very much for calling into the show. And just f follow the guidance and keep doing as you're doing, but go a bit further than your family. Okay, will do. Okay, thanks for calling the show. And thank you for taking my call. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Right, we've also now got Mary Lou on the line. Mary Lou? Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm okay, thank you. And you? Good. Good, good. Have you got a question for Greg? I do. Greg, do you see oh, yeah. Do you see anything uh, coming up in my love life? Oh, there's a question. <laughs> um, okay, when you were saying that, um, okay, I, the, for some reason I'm getting drawn to a car. Um, it's usually the way that my guide works is that he gives me um, a particular car oh, that so will relate to this person coming, 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 in, coming in, coming through. through. Um, um, it's, 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 I, don't know, I, mean, I think that's a silver car. I feel that's a, a silver car. Um, um, it's, it's, it's like a blue. In You're the echoing. Game. Yeah, I can. I think my guides are playing funny. What's it again? <laughs> they're trying to out tonight, Greg. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they're doing it. They do. Oh, they don't try, try again, Greg. You're okay now. Carry on. Okay. Say again. <laughs> it, the, the car that I can see is a is a silver silver car. Um, it's, but it looks, it looks like a silver saloon. It's a long, it's a, a longer shape, shape car. It's not like a hatchback. It's longer. So I'm hoping I've got the, the right name for that. Um, and it's parked outside a house. And I feel that this, this could be relevant to a person that, um, that could be coming through to your life quite soon. Um, but also I could see, would you understand a red car as well? Um, is that around you at the moment, a red car? My ex-husband, but that's no. not happening. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's fine. That's what, that's just, what they sometimes, guy, my guy does, it just gives me that, um, that car, just to acknowledge that what the information I'm giving is right. Um, uh -huh. so, <clears throat> okay, what, what he's saying is, um, is it, have you, would you understand that you haven't been, you've been going, not wanting to go out into um, social situations but haven't been as much recently? Because my sensation that he's saying to me, keep on going out, keep on, keep, keep on going out into the social situations because I feel that friends are asking to go out and he's like, mm, yeah, maybe, and then may not go out. Yeah, I have would that, to would, do. Would that, un, would you, that un, you understand that? Yep. Yeah, okay. Because I feel in a couple of weeks that there'll be a situation where um, that there'll be, for some reason I see you in like a ball gown or some sort of long, to, to me it looks like a purple dress, um, but as if the, the, there'll be that that you're wearing. Um, it's like a dark, it's a dark purple to me. Um, but as if they're saying a couple of weeks to... to, to, to go out in that situation. I'm not saying that you're going to be going to meet somebody at that time. What I'm saying is, is to, to say this is a starting point of being able to, to, to meet people because it's opening up your, your mind to, um, to, to meet new people. As if that you're wanting to, but there's something inside your mind that's not allowing you to, that you're just holding back a little bit, which is quite natural. Um, but just to, to, to step, keep stepping forward. Okay. Okay. Would that make sense? It makes great sense. Yeah? Okay. Um, 
Yeah. But the minute uh, he's, is it, he's just saying, get back to having fun with it. Get back to having having fun because I feel that is that that you put in a little bit of pressure towards finding that person rather than just going along and just being able just to where you where you were many years ago where you would talk to people quite quite naturally just to make general conversations is that you haven't been doing that as much and that's why they're saying to go out to um, these social situations to be able to just to just to say hello to people and to get the confidence back. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I'm working a lot. Yeah, okay. That's what I feel, that's the way that my guy wants you to do, is this to, to, um, to tell you just to do, get back into that um, and get comfortable with doing that, and then there will be a person that, um, the person that, I, <laughs> that he's coached, the way he sh my guy shows me is through wearing um, uh, different clothes that they wear, and I feel that the person that you could meet has got a very, quite sparkly um, uh, cuff, cuff links um, for, for his shirt, and that they, they will be particularly um, eye-catching that you'll be drawn to that person, as if that, um, that will be, you'll know the person who that is, and the person's got blue eyes um, and dark hair, and it's, I feel that it's... Um, I don't know if this is in to do with like an estate agent, real estate, or something like that. But it's something to do with property. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Is, that, is that okay then? That's awesome. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay. Thank you for calling in the show. All right. Bye. Okay. And we've now got Violet on the line. Hi, yeah, Violet. Hi. Hi. I actually have exactly the same question. <laughs> okay. I can feel a silver black moment coming here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could change the show and do it like that. <laughs> That's, I tell you what, you've just jumped yourself into another show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, Greg. Um, what am I seeing? I've just been told there's three people. There's three people in your in, around you. Three, three people that that keep on lingering around you. Would that make sense? Um, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. There's one, there's if you've got three you people around you, you're going to be very busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. Uh, in future, maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the person I keep on seeing that is... It, <laughs> all I keep on seeing is skateboard. There's a skateboard person with a little bit longer, longer hair. Um... In a baseball cap. To me, it just like a looks like a darker coloured um, baseball cap. Would this make any sense to you? Uh, not at this time. Okay. I, I always love this situation when people because sometimes I I go slightly forward in time. Um, because I'm asking for more information and they're not quite give me any more. Um, okay. Um, at the minute I can see a, a gentleman um, in, in spirit. As if that he's, I see like a, a moustache and I feel like a grandfather type role. Um, and he said yes. something about his heart, he had a heart problem. Yes, that's the one that passed away, yep. Okay, that's good then. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he's, he's the one that's... Um, feel that he's the one who's talking. I don't know if he had like a military background or if he was a, per a person that had like a military person as if, like personalities, as if he was very particular. Um, yeah, in his um, personality. In, yeah, in his personality. Okay, but he's the per he keeps on drawing me close to this person with the, the skateboard and the, the longest, longer hair. Um, and I don't know who that is, but he, he's, he's here. I can see him. He's... Um, um, he keeps. Why is he drawing up the? Um, is, is that the American flag as well? Is he? What, is he drawing that up as well? He keeps. As if there was a flagpole or something. He's do. He keeps on doing that, or he's leaning against it. Does that make any sense to you? I'm sorry. What? Can you repeat that? Because I, I had a hard time hearing. Okay. The the, the thing that I can see him. It, it, he's. He's linked to, or he's pulling, drawing up a um, a flag on a large flagpole, 
Um, I think that's the, the American flag that he's pulling up. Um, but he's as if that he's next to it or standing next to it. I'm not sure if there's a photo of him um, of that. Ah, uh, no, because he's actually not American. He was not American. Maybe he's is he coming? He, I feel that he's going. He's in America though. That's why I feel that he is because he's showing me this flag quite clearly. Okay, maybe he's here around me. Maybe he wants to tell me he's around. Yeah, he's probably gone to Spiritual Express and come to see you. He's probably, <laughs> he's come yeah. across the, um, but he's definitely him, he's definitely around. As if to say that, please stop, just let things happen, he's coming. Okay? Yeah, I was just very curious about one particular person. Okay. Um, he's like a lot older and, you know, I was just wondering about him. Um, I, 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 I just asked him what, what he thinks. He's, he just he smiled. He's like, okay, yeah, that's. But he, he's he, he's not. I don't feel he's a particular man that would say an awful lot. He was just quite happy just to just to be there. Um, and I feel that he he's just nodding his head really um, when you said that. Hmm. Okay. Does okay. that sound okay, Violet? <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for calling into the show. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, Greg, we'll give you time for a little break, shall we? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. You're listening to Cosmic Radio. Cosmic Radio. I've been coming to for this week. Join Jens Bergman every Monday for Secrets to My Thoughts. Join John Glenn every Tuesday with Open Talk. Davis will be with us every Wednesday with our soup. Don't miss out every Thursday with Shelley Hathberg, where she explores the metaphysical world. Tune Youth Talk every Friday with Sean McNulty and Medium John Lee. Every Saturday we'll be exploring meditation and how to better your own spiritual life. Every Sunday, we will be sharing with you the best and exciting broadcasts of the week. Check your show page for times in your area. Thank you for listening to Past Week in Radio.
And welcome back to the show of Ask Sue. And I've got special guest Greg Smith on the line as well. Hello, how is everybody? All good, all good. And luckily, no more problems with the spirits interrupting at the moment. Give it time. <laughs> oh, don't say that. They'll, they'll start it all over again. <laughs> I love it. I love a bit of fun on the radio. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't tell right. that to my guide. He's a pain in a... He's a pain. He'll, he'll, he'll do funny things. <laughs> Excellent, love it. <laughs> I've got right, so many different just, stories just, with him. He's, um, I've got different experiences. I've never seen a, um, I never thought I'd see a, a guy blush, and I've seen him blush at, um, at a couple of times with how other spirit people have made him blush in different events and situations, which is, yeah, definitely good fun. Right, the first thing I've got to ask you, has your guide got a name? Um, yep, he's, his name's Julius. Um, he's a Roman soldier, um, and I've, through a past life, um, I was also a Roman soldier, and he was one of my best friends um, in, uh, in in that time. And due to some sort of battle that we were in, um, I saved his life by killing somebody else. And, and it was his wish that he would say, stay spirit side to help me here, to help me um, to do what I'm, I'm doing now to, with my spiritual work. Um, but he's absolutely so funny. He's, he's brilliant. I, I, just like constantly laughing at what what he says and what he does and and things. He's he's great. Um, but I've yeah he, I've got some different different stories of when I've been up on stage and different spirit people have, have made him feel uncomfortable. Let's say. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the looks of the chats at the moment, uh, we will definitely be having you back on this radio. It abso it, people absolutely love you on here. I must just say hello to Psychic Max, who's just put. Sue rocks. We love our Sue. Thank you very much, Psychic Max. That's lovely. And also, Loving Spirit wants to say, love his voice and accent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now you've blushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, have we got time for just one little more, do you think? Um, yeah, we've got one more. I think we've got time for one more. Yeah, go on then. Area code 260, are you all here? Hello? Hello. Hi. This Hi, is who am I speaking to? I'm Sin Lu. Hi, how are you doing? You all right? I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was typing on chat. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I saw you. <laughs> Have you got a question for Greg? Um, not a particular question. Do you um just let spirit take over and see what you can what you get from that? 
Nice clean slate, Greg. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. It's, it's a strange, sen- strange sensation, as if that yeah. I feel quite mystical with you. Um, that I, I can feel um, like a, a, a purpley velvet uh, fabric, as if I can see that, as if that I can see stars as well. Have you, do you also go on going in like um, is this like the showbiz or some sort of stage and stuff like that? You've been thinking of doing that. I do radio. You do radio, okay. And I am hoping to go on the show. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, does it is it, is it is it the sensation that feels that it's just about to take off? Does it feel that it's just about to to progress? Is this that you've got lots about? I, I just said five five different things that you're trying to work on. Mhm. Does yeah. that make sense? The five yeah. different things? Yeah, I'm a multitasker. Yeah. Yeah. All the time in a week. Because <laughs> um, he's drawn me close to, to, I feel, to focus on three rather than the five. Um, what's with the t- TV? Is there TV as, as well? Is there, I feel like I'm with a video camera as well. Yes. Is, is this paranormal? Is this like a paranormal investigation, or is this some sort of? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so a paranormal team just asked me actually to be right, their okay. psychic walkthrough. Wow. Okay. I, I, I'm drawn to that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. They're they're getting ready. Yeah. That 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 feels really good. That feels a really nice. Because I feel that, you know, I don't know if you heard when I first, at the start of the interview that um, I was used to doing that when I was very young, going out and experiencing and seeing things and feeling, um, that, I don't know, picking up different, various different spirit in that form um, when you go out into castles or different houses or different things. But I feel that that's you, that you're, you're very good at doing that, that that's, um, you don't like to be enclosed, as if that you want to be outside and be free to to express yourself, I, I suppose that's probably the easiest way to, to say it, um, but mm-hmm. to be to be you out, you're quite, you'll be quite comfortable in front of the camera, mm-hmm. yeah, um, what's to with the book point. as well, yeah. is there, you're writing a book? Um, I have been working on something, but it's been put off and we're changing it to something else, but it is kind of like a book, yeah. Okay. It's also in my head that you said an e-book, like for, like to put on the internet. Is there like a trial version of it before you do the big proper version? Yeah. 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 It's actually written by every uh, any psychic. Yeah, mostly all the uh, psychics that go on um, and find it. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. for today. Yeah, it's for all the psychics today. Yeah. Okay. That's, I, I'm loving those two things. That's what I'm, I'm drawn to, those two things at the moment. Um, what's with the... I, for some reason, as if the, some, they said disabled, some, a bit, but I feel this is a person that may need um, some... Like, it's got special needs or some sort of, sort of needs. It's just like disabled. Are you, are you working with like, people that, need, that have got needs, that are trying to get like, working with, with them? I feel the same. Yes, I do a lot with um, children. Sorry, I do, my dog. I do a lot with children. I adopt them. Right, okay. They're all disabled. Yeah. Wow, okay. Okay. Well, in my head, they, they're saying that. So I feel that you help a lot of, lot of people. Um, that you listen, you're like a like a mini mini counselor, so to speak. As if that you're that you listen to all the other people, as if to say, don't forget yourself as well. Okay, mm-hmm. because I feel that a lot of your energy is going outwards. Also, be able to think about yourself as well, to be able to be calm and go somewhere just to just to just to experience nature or just to just to just relax. Really, I probably that's probably the easiest way to say it, um, rather than running around all the time. Yeah. Would that make sense? Yeah. My guide's yeah. always telling me to slow down. 
<laughs> Guess what? He's saying it again. <laughs> yeah. Usually they have their way. They kind yeah. of stop me in my tracks. Yeah. Put things in front of me. And it's like, whoa, not yet. Yeah. It, it, my guy just said to me, have you been recently getting like sore throats and, and colds as well? Um, uh, recently, that slowing things, slowing you down a little bit. A little, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, because my, the way that my guide explains it for me is that when you get sore throats, it's as if that you need to, um, as if just to express things, to say what you feel, say what you think. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes that's saying no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to to, to do those sorts of things. Um, and I feel that's what he's asking you to do um, is to don't be afraid to say no if you don't want to do it then you don't have to do it you don't have to keep on saying yes to everything Um, that's good yeah I do that a lot okay (laughs) (laughs) just to keep everybody happy yep 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 yep. (laughs) so be be okay in saying no um, at times and just think about yourself as well it's not Mm -hmm. you don't have to be selfish it's just just giving yourself an extra hour of meditation or relaxation or whatever mm-hmm. it is, um, reading a book or, or whatever it is, just that time is important because um, obviously with working with spirit, it's um, mm-hmm. they can't. You, you need to be feeling good yourself to be able to do all these wonderful yeah. things. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This past two weeks has been it's been hectic, and you're right. Spirit's been telling me I have to slow down. I did. Last night I I started Good. doing work for myself, so. Good. But sometimes yeah, I gotta be reminded, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but they're telling you again. <laughs> <laughs> so just just keep doing it. Keep keep being able to relax because it, it's nice to. Um, and also I've heard meditation about four times, so I'm not sure if that's mm-hmm. something for you to do a bit more of as well. Um, mm-hmm. Which is always good to have meditation in our lives. Um, but also for yourself from the spiritual side of things because I just feel that things are going to start to progress for you. Um, so, <laughs> my, guy just, my guy said, um, like, buckle your seatbelt. Just put your seatbelt across um, because I think you're going to need that time to, to relax. Cool. All right. That's a good buckle, the seatbelt, I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's like, strap yourself in. Here we go. It's like a, like a rocket. <laughs> okay. That sounds brilliant, St. Lou, doesn't it? It sounds good. As long as it's not the drama buckle the seatbelt kind. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, there's not always positive all. things. There's always positive things with that with those stuff. So just keep on focus on the positives and you'll be absolutely okay. fine. All right. Wonderful. Excellent, Lou. Thank you for ringing in the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're Thank wonderful. You. Much Thank pleasure. Thank you very much. You. Cheers. Bye bye. Well, Greg, we're getting to near the end of the show. We've also got. Um, John, who's coming in to do some readings after as well. Um, but also, I just want to, of course, mention about your website again, because people are saying absolutely brilliant things about you on the chat. So oh, everybody great. needs to know your website and to get your name across, because they are liking what they're hearing. <laughs> great. <laughs> so if you want to tell us what your website is. <clears throat> yeah, my website's uh, uk. Um, you can also find me on Facebook. It's Clairvoyant Greg Greg Smith. Um, just please send a friend request. It'll be great to see you there. Now, Greg also does um, private readings. Um, as you'll see on the website, he's got there's a, a lot more to this guy that you have, we have only literally hit the tip of the iceberg. Um, I am actually organising events for Greg at the moment up and down the UK on the idea of one of these days we will get him across the water as well. Things are going in a long, going to be a good road for Greg. I can feel good vibes for him. He is an absolute ace guy. He's going to go bright red. But <laughs> you know when you meet one of them guys and they're really down to earth and you can just sit on the phone for an hour and time just flies by, as you can see by the show, it has flown by. An absolute excellent guy with an excellent gift. This guy is going to be going a, a long, long way and you will remember that he was with Ask Sue on Cosmic Radio, okay? So just remember Greg Smith. Greg, thank you ever so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you for, for asking me to come on. Okay, you will definitely be back. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. I will be back. <laughs> yes, you will, definitely. <laughs> 
Greg, thank you very much again. Um, thank you very much, everybody who's on the chat. Um, everybody, please keep chatting on that chat, and we will.